disclaimer I am not a doctor nor have I ever claimed to be a doctor but I did get trained and I did get hands-on experience with everything that I'm gonna tell you guys about first received the trach, he also received the G-tube at the same time. We were also dealing with his weight management. After the pyloric stenosis surgery, when he wasn't catching up in his weight, he looked at that as a major concern. He was categorized as failure to thrive. May 2017, Nathan first got a G-tube. June 2017, we continued going to follow-up appointments. July 2017, they weighed him incorrectly. They didn't make any changes to his nutrition plan. Ending of July, we had to rush Nathan to the ER for a clogged G-tube. From that point on, we knew we had to find a different doctor and weight gain is one of the most important pieces of a child's development. He was doing a lot better considering the last few months and I kept him as healthy as I could because I didn't want to take steps back by getting him sick. We enjoyed a great holiday season from Halloween, my birthday in November, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve. I was so relieved that I had some sort of normal life that we could take Nathan anywhere with us. It was a weird experience taking Nathan in public places because I had to suction him with the machine and it made a lot of noise. So if I would have to pull out the machine, the catheter, and then suction him, put it back away. And by then, lots of people were watching us and if i had to feed him he had a feeding bag so i would have to pour the milk into the feeding bag attach that to nathan and then tuck the feeding bag somewhere so nathan wouldn't touch it or it wouldn't pull and then i did gravity feeds so i would have to take a 60 ml syringe and pour the milk through that and hold it up when we had nathan's second birthday one of our friends allowed us to use his home and we went all out because for Nathan's first birthday, we had it very small. So for this second birthday, I was like, Nathan deserves to do more. And we did the big bouncy house. We had live music. We had food appetizers, a huge dessert table, pinatas, and a lot of party favors for all the little kids that we had invited. We still had to suction Nathan in between and we didn't get to cut his cake because he fell asleep but everyone at the party understood and we still made the best of it and we enjoyed it. But at least Nathan wasn't attached to machines so he was able to move around. It was really fun. I was feeling joy again to see Nathan go places. I felt proud because I was like, Nathan is moving in the right direction. There's more to the story, so stay tuned to find out if we did find a new GI doctor and how we dealt with COVID. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.